In my last video I made a video that showed you that I can make a complete uh, YouTube video just using the Insta 360 One X. Go I mean. The Insta 360. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how I actually edit these videos. I'm going to film it as I do <laughs> as I'm going to drive through McDonald's to pick a, a coffee up. And then I'm going to um, download it from the camera, edit it slightly in the app, and then I'm going to transfer it from there into LumaFusion and edit it into LumaFusion so you can see exactly how it's done. Now I've downloaded the video from uh, from the camera that I'm using. By the way, I'm once again just using the Insta360 to make this video all the way through. I'm not using any other cameras. So I've downloaded it from the camera onto my iPad and I'm going to start processing it now. So uh, please follow and enjoy. So I want to start the video off so it's facing me. So I put tracking on so I'm tracking my face while I'm driving round. So I'm heading round through to the drive through now and I'm going to leave it tracking me until I get to the uh, the little kiosk or the little machine where uh, I'm asked what my order is and in a second the young lady's going to say to me is that a coffee? She must have heard me talking to my camera. So I'm leaving face tracking on at the moment. I'm going to give the young lady my order and I'm going to give her my voucher for my free coffee and then what I'm going to do is I start to pull away I'm going to stop tracking myself and I'm going to put a pivot point on my face. And then I'm going to move forward just a little bit and I'm going to put a pivot point in front so that the camera goes from me to the direction that the car is travelling in. Now just before I get to the bend I'm going to stop the track again and I'm going to put another pivot point on. So I'm going to drive forward now just before I get to the bend I'm going to stop and I'm going to put another pivot point on. So I'm going to drive around the corner and once I get around the corner I'm going to turn the camera where I want it and I'm going to put another pivot point on. And just rewind it and play it through, make sure everything's okay and watch the camera as it tracks us around the corner. Now I'm going to stop the video again and put a vid uh, I'm going to put a pivot point on my face because I want the camera to be looking at me as, um, as I get served by the young lady behind the counter. So there you go pivot point on my face and I'm going to leave it on my face until I finish getting served. I'll just run it round make sure that uh, everything's working as it should. I'm going to pull forward now to pick my coffee up and I'm going to leave it tracking me. It's not tracking me actually <laughs> it's got a pivot point on my face. So I've got my coffee and I'm going to start pulling forward. As I still start to pull forward I'm going to put another pivot point on my face. Move forward a couple of frames and put another pivot point directly to the front of the car. And once again, just before I get to the bend, I'm going to stop, put another pivot point on. If I don't put this pivot up point on, the camera's going to start turning from my last pivot point, which is much too early. So I move it a bit further forward, pop another pivot point on, carry on driving, and see how it goes. In fact I'm going to rewind it just to make sure everything's okay and away we go. So once again we're coming up to another junction so it's a series of pivot points again. I put a pivot point on directly ahead and I put my next pivot point on round the bend And then once again I'm just going to rewind it just to make sure everything's working okay. And as I get further around the bend I'm going to put another pivot point on. So I'm going to swivel the camera around, stick another pivot point on, run the video a little bit more, stop it once again, put another pivot point on and then let the video run a little bit more. So we're coming up to the roundabout now, another two or three pivot points and I'm about done. 
I'm going to put one on just before I get to the roundabout. Another one on when I'm halfway around the roundabout. And a final pivot point facing down the road. And I'm coming towards the end of the video now, so I want the camera to be facing me at the end of the video. So I'm just going to put one more pivot point on my face, which takes me up to the end of the video. And that's it. All done. And that's it. All over and done with. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the completed video so you can have a look at it. And um, you can give me an honest opinion in the bit below. Where you can pass a comment. Please be gentle. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute. In my last video, <laughs> just for Christmas, in my last video, just for Christmas, uh, I made a, a complete video just using the Insta, uh, Insta One, no, sorry, the Insta 361X. Well, bloody name, and I'm just going to call it the bloody Insta One driving me mad. Anyway, in this video I'm going to show you how I process process everything. Uh, from out the camera, through the app, through LumaFusion and onto YouTube. So let me just get my coffee. I am sorry, I have a coffee. A large black one please love. No, it's a loyalty. It's a loyalty. I've got yeah. six million of them. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> hey taste love, thank you very much. Thank you. So that's my coffee ordered. As I was saying, I made a video on the Insta 361X. Sorry, the Insta. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I process it. And it's just basically how I get the camera to follow things as I'm driving around. There you go, love, thank you very much. As I'm driving around through McDonald's. How I get the camera to point in the right direction, how I upload it, and how I edit it on LumaFusion. So it's uh, it's nothing too scary, but uh, it'll give you a good idea of what I do. Just pick my coffee up now. They were closed yesterday. Fancy closing McDonald's Christmas Day. I struggled for my dinner. I had to have some sandwiches I made the day before. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I had a Christmas dinner, I went and cooked my daddy's Christmas dinner, he's 91. So uh, I went and cooked his dinner for him. And then I went home and one, went to bed, because I'd been working till 3 o'clock in the morning. Got up, watched Home Alone 2, and then went back to bed again. This coffee's taking a long time. Hiya. Hiya, love. You, you were closed yesterday. I know. That was a bummer, weren't it? <laughs> See you later, bye. bye. They know me quite well here because I come here for my coffee all the time when I'm uh, when I'm driving taxis. I've just been to the shop and done a bit of shopping. Bought myself my dinner for tonight and a strawberry trifle. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to show you how to process all this video. I'm going to show you how I um, upload it onto my phone, and then I'm going to show you how once I've uploaded it on my phone how I edit it and get it to go where I want it to go where the camera <laughs> I'll put my teeth in in a minute get the camera to go where I want the camera to go and then how I export it and then import it into LumaFusion and edit it again there and do all the cuts and colour grading if I need it etc etc in LumaFusion and then obviously it goes from there it goes from there onto uh, YouTube so, off we go. So that's it, all over and done with. Not particularly hard, I don't think. Uh, it just takes a little bit of patience at times, just to get things, you know, how you want it. Um, and I'm only a, a real, real novice. I've only had this camera about, well, if you know anything about my videos, uh, you saw me do an unboxing on it which is what, less than two weeks ago, so I haven't had it very long, so I'm very inexperienced when it comes to these 
360 cameras, but I must admit, um, I really, really do like it. It's it's great. So, anyway, that's besides the point. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. And hopefully, hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.